Hello everybody, welcome to a tropical update here. This is a look at what's currently going on worldwide right now. And the only thing to talk about, of course, is Tropical Cyclone 08S, also known as Danilo, in the southwest Indian Ocean, which continues to increase in organization. Here's the latest JTWC forecast cone for Danilo, and now Danilo is a cyclone with a 65 knot wind, which is equivalent to about 75 miles per hour. So it is a, 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 a hurricane force cyclone on South Simpson scale. Um, and forecast to gradually intensify here and eventually looks like uh, intensify up to an 80 knot uh, cyclone there but at last forecast point here uh, an 80 knot is about 90 miles per hour 90 92 miles an hour around that general uh, ballpark so that's a high-end category one cyclone there uh, at least on the Seth Simpson scale and as you can see also on this forecast cone like you saw with the previous one that I showed you uh, last night uh, this one is also unfortunately uh, taking it on what they um to having it go under a uh, southwest uh, hook there kind of uh, on the last two kind of forecast points there it goes southwest and um, unfortunately generally towards Mercer's and Lower Union here and um, the island of Rodriguez perhaps might get into the outer tropical storm force winds radius um, depending on how far south uh, this track goes or if it goes more north or etc. This is what the storm currently looks like on satellite imagery right now. As you can see, the system continues to improve here gradually with time, and especially on those last three frames there. You can really see it trying to uh, get its core established there, and you can see another burst of convection in the last frame there too. Um, it's just really trying to get its act together here, um, even though it is cu currently under some uh, generally light wind shear, I think of about 15 knots or so, give or take, I want to say. Um, however, it is forecast to get into more favorable conditions throughout the next few hours here. And coming days, hence why the Dwarf Typhoon 1 and Center have this gradually intensifying here um, over uh, the, the, the week, pretty much. And here's an infrared satellite imagery look of the storm uh, over the past 12 hours here. And um, again, I get to see the system just continuing to improve uh, in organization there. Then the Himora 8 invisible satellite imagery, infrared invisible satellite imagery of the storm over the past, uh, again, 13 hours in this satellite loop, um, as you can see there. And then this is off of Mateos at 8, uh, visible imagery here. And um, you can see how overnight there the storm was really uh, pushing out some deep convection there. And then now as uh, day breaks over the system again, um, the convection is starting to wane again. But however, you, you do see uh, burst convection do uh, uh, burst convection firing over the center circulation as you can see there. And then finally here's a uh, close-up water vapor imagery look at the system right now. And uh, you can see you can uh, see what I what I said in the last two uh, satellite looks. Um, you can see a new burst convection firing over the center circulation there. Um, again, as the system continues to improve in organization, and then again, it is now a, a Category One equivalent cyclone, um, which means uh, Danilo is now the first Category One cyclone of 2021 worldwide here. Um, so just a little interesting tidbit uh, there. And again, there's a look at the forecast track here, and um, I really want to, tr to stress that this forecast is really uncertain here, so this forecast can change with time. Um, don't just look at this forecast track and take it um, like it's going to 100% happen here, and it's 100% certain it's going to do so. Uh, this track is subject to change in terms of, of course, track-wise and, of course, intensity-wise here, as we're uncertain of both those two um factors at play here. Uh, this storm could uh, stay on the same intensity forecast that JTWC has it. It could get weaker than forecast here, or it also could get stronger than forecast. You'll have to see about that. And again, also the track is also uncertain at this point in time. So just please, uh, for those of you guys in Mauritius and La Reunion, and maybe some of you guys in Rodriguez need to be keeping a close eye on the system here over the next few days um, as track changes and we get a better, better uh, grasp of what the system is exactly going to do here as it gets closer and closer uh, towards its possible land impacts here um, we'll, we'll get a better look at that but for now uh, please just that uh, you know remember to uh, pay attention to the system here over the next few days listen to your local officials they're telling you to also pay attention to this system you do so as well um, again don't necessarily panic about this um, just again keep a really close eye on it here and uh, monitor it over the next few days here as it, it stays over open waters uh, for the time being right now
And with that, that's pretty much going to be about it for this tropical update here. Um, if any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll try to answer them to, I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Um, and if you want to know what websites and sites that I use for this tropical update, they're down in the description below, and you can click on the links down there, and it'll take you to some of the websites that I use uh, for this tropical update here if you're curious and want to see what's currently going on and uh, the tropics um, firsthand over there. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. I think I've pretty much covered everything, I guess, um, with a short summary. Um, Danilo is, of course, the only game in town and the, the most concerning uh, storm to watch at this point uh, worldwide. And for those of you guys in Mauritius Law Reunion and Rodrigues, they'll be keeping a close eye on the system here over the next few days as the track and intensity uh, evolves here with time and as it gets closer and closer to perhaps the closest approach to Mauritius or Law Reunion here. Uh, we're going to better grasp on it intensity-wise and uh, especially for, uh, forecast track-wise here with time. So again, just keep a close eye on the system here. Don't panic about it. Just keep a close eye on it here and monitor it closely here. And listen to your local officials for the latest updates on the system here um, throughout the next few days. And again, that's pretty much going to be about it for this tropical update here. Hope everybody has a great day or night, wherever you are. Stay safe, of course. Until then, see you guys in the next video. Peace.